let me be the first to welcome you to the Glove 80 family. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with your new ergonomic keyboard in just a few simple steps. First, plug in the USB cable to the left hand of your Glove 80. Next, connect the other side of the USB cable to your computer or another host device. Now, switch on both the left and right halves by pressing the power buttons located on the back. Start typing. If everything is set up correctly, you should see your keystrokes on your screen. Your Glove 80 comes with a partially charged battery, but we recommend fully charging both halves before extended use. It takes about four hours to charge completely. Adjust the height of your chair and desk so your feet are flat on the floor. Your back is straight and your knees and elbows are at 90 degree angles. Place the two halves at a comfortable distance for your shoulder width. Ensure your wrists are straight and your forearms are slightly pointing downwards. Place your fingers on the home row keys. Remember, the Glove 80 is designed to reduce sideways finger movement. Most finger movements will be curling and uncurling. The thumb cluster is designed for minimal palm movement. Pivot your thumb at the base joint to reach all six thumb keys. Practice typing for 30 to 60 minutes each day. It might take a few weeks to adapt fully, but take it slow and you will get there. The default key layout on the Glove 80 includes three layers, the base layer, lower layer, and magic layer. Press and hold the layer key to momentarily switch to the lower layer. Double tap the layer key to switch to the lower layer persistently. This layer includes less commonly used keys and an extended numeric pad. The magic layer is used for controlling the Glove 80 itself, such as RGB LED behavior and selecting Bluetooth profiles. Hold the magic key to access these functions. As you become more familiar with the Glove 80, you might want to customize the key layout to match your typing habits. The keyboard supports multiple layers and functions similar to the function key on laptops. Search for a layout at the link below or create your own. If you change your key layout, you may also need to replace the keycaps to match the new functions. Removing keycaps gently is crucial to avoid damage. Use the included spanner to hold down the key switch. While applying downward pressure with the spanner, gently pull out the keycap with the keycap puller. Be careful not to apply excessive force when removing keycaps to avoid damaging the key switch or PCB. Then, push the correct keycap onto the switches to match the modified layout. For more detailed information about your keyboard, please see the user guide at the link below. Customizing your Glove 80 allows you to tailor it to your exact needs. Enjoy exploring the possibilities and making your keyboard truly yours.